we will win. That's why I salute you. That's what you're doing. And everybody listening, they don't need to call Alex and say thank you. They need to call everybody else in their lives and get them going. You're right. Let's get into solutions. Talk about, uh, because you got cut off by the break, the DHS situation. It's admitting there's an armed buildup uh, that they're trying to create this new domestic security force pointed at the American people. But then I want to hear about the Delta Force and SEALs and people you know. You were telling me off air how incredibly awake they're getting. And then let's talk about let's talk about solutions. The gun culture they're so afraid of that's spreading, uh, going and, and 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 literally getting somebody into guns. That one person uh, after another. That's how we're truly going to win. And you see it happening all across this country. Yeah, it's like your chief of police in Austin. Isn't it, isn't that a heartbreaker? that a Texas law enforcement officer sides with Nancy Pelosi? I mean, are, are you kidding me? So what did he do, pee at the wall of the Alamo like Ozzy Osbourne? I, I, I'm just <laughs> heartbroken because I know a bunch of those Austin cops. But here's the final overview. I, you know, I'm a lucky guy. I get to hang and barbecue and hunt and train with the, the greatest commando hero warriors that ever lived. I mean, I am so humble. I'm surprised I can even grovel at their feet. Delta Force, Navy SEALs, uh, the, the Special Ops, uh, the, the, the Army Rangers, SWAT commanders, and, and heroes of law enforcement and military all across this land. I held the hand of Sergeant Todd Baldy, who happened to be from Austin, Alex. I held his hand over in Iraq. He took an RPG center mass. I'll try not to cry on your radio show here. A young black man, 22 years old. RPG center mass, Alex. It was still in his guts. I stood there in his blood and I held his hand as he died. Wow. I don't need any more inspiration. He died because he swore an oath, Mr. Chief of Police to enforce, abide by, and fight for, and die for the U.S. Constitution. Do you think I need some punk, some dependent little whiny, soulless, doped up crybaby like Jim Carrey to give me direction on constitutional and Bill of Rights guaranteed God-given individual rights? Are you kidding me? So everybody close their eyes right now, unless you're driving. And think of Todd Balding as he bled to death and took this giant, ugly RPG rocket right in the guts. And he bled to death fighting for freedom and going after terrorists who attack Americans because of their voodoo, a la puke, Muslim insanity. And if that's not worth inspiring you to join the NRA, to communicate with your elected officials and do your duty as we the people, then I don't think there's any hope for you, and you probably ought to just move to Canada. Well, it really is disgusting that, that these people parade around. In fact, since you mentioned that, and I want to talk about uh, the tour and, and, and you know, the culture war, having fun, that is the way to defeat them. Obama says post Assad Syria of Islamist extremism is nightmare scenario. Obama in Libya, in Syria, I'm not saying Gaddafi or, 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 or the guy in Syria are good guys, but they weren't offensively doing anything. They're putting real Al-Qaeda out of Saudi Arabia over there and are now talking about our troops having to go in after Assad falls to fight them. I mean, what is going on with Obama openly funding real Al-Qaeda? I don't know if you've seen the videos of them chopping Christians' heads off in Syria. I can't even believe this. It's like some uh, outer limits or, or, or some other dimension that, that it's in the news. Obama warns Syria could become enclave from extremism. Why is our government offensively with NATO now saying NATO is over our military? Our military has spoken out against this, by the way. I'm sure you know that. Sure. What, what is going on with that? What, what are your, do you hear anything from your military sources about, about this craziness, the 10,000 missiles from Benghazi? Where they, why did they kill the ambassador? I, they stood down. My inside sources that are in Army intelligence say Obama wanted him dead. It was the Benghazi security force that was al-Qaeda that came over and killed him. I mean, it's just what is going on with Obama? I mean, boy, where do you begin to answer that question? Here's a guy that was born to communists, raised by communists, educated by communists, preached to by America-hating communists. I mean... Who hasn't studied where this acorn Chicago?
Chicago gangster scammer came from. But that's what I was talking about, the Department of Homeland Security, which, by the way, Alex, you're on the phone with the czar of Homeland Security. My <laughs> homeland is secure. Know that. But the, 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 the domestic agencies uh, from the IRS to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife to the Bureau of Land Management, U.S. Forest Service and DEA and ATF and FBI and it, and remember, a lot of those people, I still think the majority of those agents are great patriots and great men and women and I, I hang the future of America on the nail of truth that they have expressed to me that they will not enforce illegal anti-constitutional orders from above. That is the great hope. But that they're purchasing all this firepower and, and armored vehicles, who doesn't know this? Who doesn't identify this as an illegal act by the government who is so corrupt, so out of control? Thank God for Ted Cruz and, and Rand Paul and Ron Paul and Governor Perry and, and, and Greg Abbott and, and, and Steve Stockman and Bill Flores and, and so many patriots that are standing up. And, 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 but that's, that's the new GOP that we the people have prodded with the we the people pulse. When you extract the we the people pulse from politics, you will get we the people. I give you Barack Hussein Obama. I think they're gearing up. Uh, what do you think is going on with the bullets? Are they trying to just dry up the the, the bullet supply? Well, they certainly have succeeded. That I started my own Ted Nugent line of ammo here last year, and it's like everything else you find on the shelf nowadays. If you can find any, it's state of the art stuff. But we literally can't get my pallets of ammo off the truck. People are buying them in the parking lot before they even get to the shelves. Which, you know, on a consumer side, I'm, 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 I'm gleeful of. And the, the ammo industry, the firearms industry, is literally having a consumer orgy like never before, which is a very powerful statement from we the people, that we smell what you're doing, Obama, and we're gearing up too. And a little don't tread on me reminder seems to be appropriate right now. So there's no question what's going on. Going on the deceit, the scam, the criminality, the Benghazi, the fast and furious, sending F 16s to, to, to Egypt. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. This, this would make a stupid Burns movie that Alfred Hitchcock wouldn't produce because it's too stupid, but it's actually happening. But that's what frustrates me. That's why I got so sick. I'm gonna be honest. I, I came in last night from work, you know, being an evil American, I got home about nine. And she said, what is wrong with you? And I just, my kids all came up and they were around me and uh, you know, 10 down to age five and they're, what's wrong, dad? And I just said, I don't want to talk about it. And then I couldn't, I got so, it was, it was past anger. It was the shame that we allow this scum to walk all over us and that, and that, and that this country has allowed pathetic filth and authoritarians to even call themselves liberal. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. They're not liberals. And it just made me reaffirm that I am going to redouble 110%, and I'm coming after these people. Now, what do you think about ways to go after, legally and lawfully, to go after uh, Kerry and, and, and all these globalists? How do we really get aggressive? Boycott? What do we do? Well, you know, I... I yeah. I have such a, if you can bear with me, I literally have the answer, the perfect answer. Ted Cruz didn't sprout out of the ground and just show up. I communicated with him. Texans who cared communicated with him. With him. We enthused him. We supported him. Now he represents us. And did you see the beauty, the perfection of we the people when Ted Cruz... That's right. We backed him. We backed him. So we take over. And that's what even the Republican establishment is scared of real constitutional libertarian uh, campaign for liberty people. Absolutely, but that's why Ted Cruz so riled up Feinstein, because he represented the common sense pulse of logic, freedom-loving Americans, and every state needs to do that. And there's a lot of states that do do that, Arizona, uh, South Dakota, uh, certainly Texas is the master of it. Uh, Wisconsin has done great things with what they've done with Scott Walker up there, and in, in his own way, even though Christie's only a solid two on the scale of ten, he sure beats the negative eight of the the past governors of that state in New Jersey. But we the people, where we don't demand representation based on the Constitution and our 
common sense where we don't demand it, we will get the Pelosi's and the Feinstein's and the Bloomberg's and the Cuomo's and the subhuman freedom haters that are infesting this corrupt government right now. So the answer is activism, activism, activism. Always polite. Exactly. Always firm, but never, ever give up. Ted Nugent, in closing, you're talking about winning and also having fun. Uh, don't you think that, that, that they've jumped the shark here and that if we double down, we can actually have an offense that could really, once and for all, defeat the collectivist? Yeah, it almost took, in fact, not almost, it has taken this extreme attack on our individual freedoms by Barack Obama and all his gangster punk friends out there to wake a lot of Americans up, buying more firearms, more ammo than ever in recorded history of planet Earth. That's a great sign. But don't underestimate the importance. I use the term cleanse my soul, Alex. I get up in the tree with my bow and arrow, or I train with these heroes of the military that have sacrificed their arms and their legs, and we shoot machine guns from helicopters and kill hogs, and we barbecue and we fish. So never underestimate the importance of getting away from the battle. As long as you've done the battle to the best of your ability and signed up new members of the NRA, Gun Owners of America, you've communicated with your elected officials, and you've kind of educated slash chastised your friends who are not engaged. But then get out with your family and invite some new shooters. Take that 22 with ears and eyes and hearing protection and eye protection and introduce some new shooters. I have a Ted Nugent Camp for Kids charity for 25 years, and we have graduated over 15,000 young Americans into the shooting sports for safe, proper Beautiful. gun handling. That drives the enemy berserk. That's how you cleanse your soul while you're winning the war, having the time of your life. No, you're right. We all need to fight hard and then play hard. Uh, the, the Black Power Tour, uh, in closing, tell us tell us about that. That really upset the system uh, that, that your inspiration was black rock and rollers. It also upsets them that Charlton Heston was such a humanitarian in the civil rights movement. Well, my, all the good music in the world comes from black artists, from the Howlin' Wolf and Muddy Waters into Bo Diddley and Chuck Berry and Little Richard and James Brown and Wilson Pickett and Sam and Dave and the Motown Funk Brothers. So my incredible band, the greatest rock and roll rhythm and blues band in the world, Greg Smith and Mick Brown and Derek St. Holmes, we're hitting the road this year, starting next month with REO and Sticks. Then we're going out all summer before the hunting season starts. But we're going to play a tribute, as we always have, for 50 years to those black American heroes that have inspired every piece of killer music in the history of mankind. And it's called Black Power because the black artists showed us the way musically and emotionally and that spirit and that uppity ferocity. So we should take that and use it. You can use Stranglehold as the ultimate soundtrack for, for freedom and defiance. And I want to thank everybody for making our Spirit of the Wild show the number one show on Outdoor Channel and our Wanted Dead or Alive show the number one show on Sportsman Channel. But I'm keeping at it. I'm turning up the heat. And we need to get more aggressive and need to win this culture war ASA. Well, look at how you're, you know, all these hit shows on Discovery, they're trying to cancel them, even though they're hits, because they know we're winning the culture war. I see this whole attack as desperate flailing. It is desperate flailing, but that's going to backfire on Jim Carrey's going to backfire. Michael Moore's backfiring. I believe, Nancy, you don't need to read this. You need to sign it. Pelosi is a backfire in itself. So we need to take advantage of the uh, indecency, the wow. hate from the other side. We need to express it. Always express it calmly. If you're going to call your senator, have a piece of paper with the, the main two points you want to make. Absolutely. TedNugent.com. Ted, thank you for giving such an eloquent defense of... Uh, Charlton Heston, not that he needed it, you're right, but God bless you, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Folks, Ted Nugent. Godspeed, Alex. You too. Goodbye. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. It's not about justice. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders. <laughs>